Hi guys and welcome to the Frost Mage single target and AoE rotation guide. So I'll be going through the single target talents and legendaries and then the AoE. Um, yeah, so for single target, what I like to use is a haste build. Just all optimized around haste. So I'm using the bloodless ring and the wrists. The wrist because, you know... Um, I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of damage with my Ice Lances, and especially because my my um, build is based around Thermal Void, and that because I've got so much haste, I'm going to be getting a lot of um, Frost Bolts off, so I'll get more Ice Lances. With more Ice Lances, my damage is going to go up with them Ice Lances, and I'll get an extended Icy Veins, which is where like all my DPS is going to be. Um, yeah, so you always want to take Lonely Winter no matter what, because you know it's going to increase your damage just overall. Uh, next, you want to take Shimmer, obviously, so you can cast a move, basically. A lot of people recommend using Rune of Power, but Encanter's Flow is just too good. I just like it too much. You don't have to rely on where your Rune of Power is, and you don't have to worry about where your Rune of Power is and move in. So Encanter's Flow is always the best, in my opinion. Next, what I take is Frozen Touch for single target, due to the fact that we want as many Finger of Frost charges as possible to work with Thermal Void, so we can have Icy Veins up longer, have more haste to get out our Frost Bolts, stuff like that. Next one's down to you, but I just like taking frigid winds just so you don't have to worry about anything. Next, for single target, you want to take uh, unstable magic, due to the fact that you're going to be getting a lot uh, off a lot of frost bolts, and they're going to you want them to deal as much damage as possible. And obviously, last one, thermal void, so icy veins duration is extended, so we have even more haste, and we'll be getting a lot of things of frost from that. So yeah, I'll just show you quickly. First off, you want to start off with a um, frost bolt. And then into a frozen orb. What you want to try and do is um, shatter your ice lances. If you don't know what shatter is, it's the um, it's the mage's mastery, where every time they crit on a target, it will shatter. So every time you use an a flurry, it's a guaranteed crit, and ebon bolt gives you a guaranteed crit. So what you want to be doing is frost bolting into a flurry, so that you're hitting really hard. So I'm going to pop icy veins now. And I'm also going to pop BL so I can show you my full potential haste. So now I want to be using as many, um, as soon as I get my finger of frost charges, I just want to be using them. I want to be putting down my um, frozen orbs as well and putting down blizzards as much as possible. I just want to be using these ice lances as much as possible. And obviously when I use frozen orb, blizzard's going to be instant. You want to put blizzard down as much as possible so you can get frozen orb back up. But as you can see with my haste, I'm doing really big damage. So I'm just going to shatter this frost bolt and keep using my Icy Veins procs as much as possible. I'm going to put down my Blizzard again so I'll get Frozen Orb up quicker. And I'm just going to be dealing really big damage out with my Fingers of, uh, fingers of Frost. You want to be using Fingers of Frost as much as possible. So I'm going to get ready for my next um, Frozen Orb. Frozen Orb now. I'm going to shatter this um, Ice Lance and just keep using Ice Lance. You want to keep up six stacks as much as possible. And just make sure you have your Blizzards down so you can deal really, really big damage. But yeah, obviously with better uh, better gear, this would this would be uh, very, very good because I haven't got a lot of haste and I'm not maximized. But yeah, that's it for the uh, single target. Now for AoE, um, I like to take is keep the first three the same, but you want to change uh, Frozen Touch to Splitting Ice because we're going to be using a Glacial Spike build, which in my opinion is like one of the funnest builds to, to have. Just smashing out really big damage with your Glacial Spikes. Next one's down to you again. I just take Frigid Winds just for the fact that when adds are in your Blizzard, they just aren't going to be moving. So this build is literally just based around um, you want to be using uh, your Blizzards as much as possible with your Frozen Orbs. Obviously, with um, your Frozen Orb, the more targets you hit, the more Fingers of Frost you're going to get. So using these legendaries that I have currently is still the best setup because you're going to be getting a lot of Finger of Frost procs. So your Magferidans is going to get the full use out of it. So what you want to do is try and position your Frozen Orb so it's hitting all the targets. And make sure all the targets are in your Blizzard as well. And just use, when you're not having to put down Blizzards or Fingers of Frost, just use your Frost Bolts in between. So you can try and get a Shatter proc. So what you want to be doing is after you use five, um, after you use five uh, Frost Bolts, you're going to get Glacial Spike up. But what you want to do is shatter your Glacial Spike. So use Ebon Bolt right before a Glacial Spike. And then shatter your um, Glacial Spike on both targets. So it hits really, really hard. And as you can see, Frozen Orb's already off cooldown. So I'm just going to be using my Fingers of Frost. And now um, my Icy Veins is back up, so I'm getting really big haste. Put down my Blizzard, so I'm getting my Frozen Orbs back. 
and just keep using frost bolts and um, and blizzards. As you see, I already have glacial spike up, but you don't want to be using glacial spikes unless you can um, shatter it. Because as you can see, you know I'm doing really big damage with the uh, shatters. So now I've already got frozen orb of cooldowns because it hit more than two targets. But as you can see, I'm already I can shatter my glacial spike already. So I'm just going to shatter that and then use up my fingers of frost. I played that pretty bad there. You want to keep up. You want to make sure that your fingers of frost don't go above two. You just want to be using them at two and keeping up six stacks as much as possible. A lot of people have weak horrors so that they know when Magferodons is about to expire so they can keep that up. The longer you keep up Magferodons, just the better. You want to keep it at six stacks as much as possible. So now you can see, when I get a Shatter, I want to be using Ebonbolt as much as possible because Ebonbolt gives me a guaranteed uh, Flurry. So I'm going to Glacial Spike them Flurry instantly so they hit both at the same time. I can see that Blizzard's coming back off cooldown, so I'm going to use Blizzard. So this obviously tied in with your two Bloodless. You're going to be doing really, really big damage. But yeah. Um, for fights like Coven and um, Agrimar, Frost Mages are really, really good for hitting multiple targets. Like two, two to three, two targets is completely perfect for Frost Mage because your um, Glacier Spikes are going to hit two targets with Splitting Ice, and your, you know, your six stacked Ice Lances are going to be doing loads and loads of damage. So yeah, that's it for the Frost Mage. I'll be doing more guides in the future, so like and subscribe and comment if I missed anything out, and see you in the next one.